What if I told you that the path to financial freedom and success isn't what you've been taught? That the traditional education system is designed to keep you in a cycle of working for money, rather than having money work for you. That's the message of the groundbreaking book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, by Robert Kiyosaki. In this video, we'll dive into the main points of the book and explain why it's a must-read for anyone looking to break free from the traditional financial mindset and achieve financial independence. Hi! This is Stock Prospecting, the YouTube channel where we give you helpful nuggets of information on personal finance, and welcome to this video on Rich Dad Poor Dad. First published in 1997, Rich Dad Poor Dad has become a classic in the world of personal finance. In it, Kiyosaki recounts the lessons he learned from his two dads, his real father, who was an educated but financially struggling government employee, and his best friend's father, who was a self-made millionaire and business owner. These contrasting perspectives allowed Kiyosaki to see the world of money in a new way, and he shares these lessons with the reader in a clear and engaging manner. One of the main themes of Rich Dad Poor Dad is the importance of financial education. Kiyosaki argues that traditional schooling teaches us to be employees, working hard for money and paying high taxes. Instead, he advocates for learning about money management and investing, so that we can use our money to work for us and achieve financial freedom. In the book, Kiyosaki shares how his rich dad taught him about financial literacy by having him work at his store and explaining the ins and outs of running a business. He also encourages readers to start investing as early as possible, even if it's just a small amount, in order to take advantage of the power of compound interest. Another key takeaway from Rich Dad Poor Dad is the importance of assets versus liabilities. Kiyosaki explains that an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, while a liability takes money out of your pocket. For example, a rental property is an asset because it generates rental income, while a car is a liability because it requires ongoing expenses such as gas, insurance, and maintenance. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of acquiring assets, such as real estate, stocks, and businesses, in order to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. He also cautions against taking on too much debt, as debt can be a liability that can drag you down financially. Finally, Rich Dad Poor Dad encourages readers to think outside the box and take calculated risks. Kiyosaki shares how his rich dad encouraged him to start investing in real estate, even though he had little money to start with. By taking calculated risks and investing in assets, Kiyosaki was able to achieve financial freedom and retire early. So, what does financial freedom look like? For Kiyosaki, it's the ability to do what you want, when you want, and with whom you want. It's the freedom to pursue your passions and live life on your own terms, without being tied down by the need to work for money. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a must-read for anyone who wants to achieve financial independence and break free from the traditional financial mindset. Its clear and engaging writing style, combined with its powerful lessons, make it a timeless classic that will continue to inspire and educate readers for years to come. So, that's it for this video on Rich Dad Poor Dad. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you've read Rich Dad Poor Dad, let us know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.